What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Today, I want to do a full, complete, step-by-step -step training on A2P registration from start to finish. How to buy the phone number, how to get approved uh, quickly and easily, at least at the time of this recording, which is working for myself and my clients. Uh, we're getting approved very quickly. And more importantly, though, how to stay approved and protect your accounts. Because, guys, I'm learning the hard way right now that... Like if, if your error rate when you send mess, text messages is higher than what Twilio wants it to be and they disable your account, it is a nightmare trying to get it back. Just the amount of information they need, the type of information they need, the changes they want you to make to your system, it's a disaster. Okay, so I want you guys to set yourself up for success in the beginning so you can avoid these problems. Um, me, I personally believe that the A2P experiment has been a disaster. It's it's a completely failed experiment. I mean, it's just not worth the damage it's doing to business owners. It's so frustrating. And it's not even like maybe it's stopping spam. I'm not going to say it's not doing that. But I still get spam text messages every single day, spam calls every single day. And yet business owners are struggling trying to get this done. And then even once they're approved, their accounts are getting shut down because the error rate's too high. You know, and it's just like, man, what a, it's just a disaster. All right. So I want you guys to avoid all this stuff. And I, I want this process to be as easy as possible for you folks. So please stick with me to the end of this video. I'm going to show you how to buy the phone number, how to get it approved, how to uh, keep it approved, like some very specific things that you need to put on your web pages and uh, some things you can do in high level as well. So Let's, uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, my only ask, guys, is if you find the video helpful, just hit that like button. And if you haven't tried High Level yet, uh, I'll have a, uh, an affi a affiliate link to it in the description. It's a two-week free trial. I would appreciate your support. Okay. So if we're using High Level, the first thing that you need to do uh, in order to make this as easy as possible is make sure that LC Phone is turned on for all of your accounts. It's pretty easy to do from the agency dashboard here. Um, we're just going to go to Settings. And then we're going to click on phone integration. Okay. And you're just going to switch all sub accounts to LC phone. You can do it manually here too, if you need to. Uh, but you got, you have to have LC phone turned on in order to make this as easy as possible, which is the goal. All right. Now, <clears throat> once we do that, so I'm going to go into one of my sub accounts here. This is my infinite banking company here. All right. And we're going to go to settings. We're going to click on phone numbers, the phone number, the types of phone numbers that are getting approved very quickly. See, like it's not even like I have like a special magical like uh, like messages that I'm putting in the A2P registration process uh, for the like getting the campaign approved. There's nothing magical about it. It's just the type of phone number that's getting approved and it's toll free numbers. And, you know, I, I used to be, you know, just like uh, I, I always preferred local numbers if possible, but good luck getting a local number approved maybe there's some people out there getting approved we've had to submit the campaign part of the atp registration over and over and over and over again in order to get local numbers approved it is ridiculous so i wouldn't even bother with it i don't think the response rate or uh whatever it, it, like for toll-free numbers is like really going to make it that big of a difference i'd rather it just get approved so we can use it so what you're going to do is under add number just click add number here we're going to click on filter. We're going to uncheck local. And I usually, I, I like uh, 844 numbers, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Just uh, whatever you want. Uh, we'll click apply. You'll select it and then proceed to buy. Uh, we'll scroll down, proceed to buy. We purchased the phone number. I already have one in here. All right. Um, from there, it's going to prompt us to go through the verification process. Okay. So what we'll do is click on verification here. You're going to put your legal entity name. Um, if you don't have an entity, I strongly recommend that you do get one. Uh, from what I understand at some point that it might be actually required for A2P. So I would just get it out of the way. So probably have at least an LLC for your business anyways. So you're going to put your entity name in here, whatever your business name is. So mine is millennial wealth creator. I'm not going to type all this stuff out just for uh, time's sake, but first name, last name, email, just do test at test.com. Okay. And then I'm just going to put an old number here. Okay. Continue to business location. All right. Um, this stuff right here, this, this, the information that you're putting in, 
uh, particularly for the business location, it needs to be the exact same information that you filed with the IRS when you uh, applied for your EIN number. Okay, it needs to be the exact same, otherwise it will fail. So make sure that it, everything is accurate here. All right, we'll put Jacksonville, Florida. All right, cool. I'll just whatever. All right, continue to messaging use case. This is really where we've had uh, issues in the past is the campaign part of A2P registration. So you have two parts, you have br the brand and you have campaign, which is basically the types of uh, like messages that you're sending. They want a bunch of examples and stuff. So, uh, but with, with uh, the toll free verification, it's been so much easier guys. It's just incredible. All right. So select your monthly volume. I do 1000 or 10,000 a month, whatever. Opt-in type is going to be a web form use cases, you know, customer care, account notifications, marketing, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, we'll talk about this in uh, the workflow image here in a second. The use case description, guys, I've just been using the examples that high level has provided here and it's been working. So I just do like either one. Uh, I think the last one that I, that I got approved almost, I mean, it was the same day. It was like within an hour. I use this one here. So we're just going to copy this example. Obviously, make sure you customize it. Like if there's, um, oh, let's see. Okay, there's nothing like company specific there that you need to customize, but just choose one of the examples. The message content is going to be like, uh, so I'll, I'll just choose this first one here. Let's copy it. Okay. And then what you're going to do is put your, your first name here, the, uh, your company name, and then the phone number that you purchased right here. Okay. That's what you're going to do. And then the opt-in workflow image. All right, so this is where we're, we're going to start getting into the types of things that you want to put on your that you need on your web forms. So I'm going to uh, head over to a different account here just for uh, just for example sake, because this is one that I actually recently updated based off of what Twilio is requesting. It's been an absolute disaster. It's a big pain. All right. Uh, so we're going to go to sites. I'm going to basically um, we need to open up the opt-in page URL, like open up your actual web page where people put in their contact details that you're generating leads with. And I'm going to show you what you need on this form here. So we're going to open this up. Okay. We're going to click on the button and pretty standard form to begin with here, but this is the exact language that was sent to me that needs to be put onto the web form right here for consent to receive text messages. Like, I don't know why this is such a big deal. If you're putting your phone number in, I, I think you're, you have to expect to be contacted, but whatever. Apparently we have to like really spell that out. So anyways, uh, I can, like here, here's the, uh, and you know what? I will, I will actually put this in the description for you guys uh, to, to put this on your form somewhere. Uh, I'll show you where I put it on the form here in a second and high level, but um, also you need to have your privacy policy and the terms and conditions on your web form as well that needs to link out to the exact privacy policy terms and conditions all right now if you don't have a privacy policy terms and conditions i did a full training on this i'll link it down below but i'm just going to show you the tool that i use privacypolicygenerator.org you can get a privacy policy here and if you scroll down there's terms and conditions generators here as well okay and i'll link to the the training i did down in the description on how to use this tool and uh, so you can create a privacy policy in terms of conditions for yourself. All right. But this is what your form needs to look like. Now, what I did for this here inside a high level is uh, if we go to forms inside a high level here or whatever platform you're using, uh, let's see, where is the one I updated here? This is, this is why it's a pain too. One of the reasons it's a pain, like, especially if you're a SaaS agency owner and you have like lots of different marketing systems, you have to do this for every single marketing system, like every single funnel. Uh, it's just, man, it's, it's a big pain, but anyways, uh, let's see. So what I did here, this is an element that I added. Uh, it's a checkbox. So we would just uh, scroll down. Where is the checkbox? Checkbox. Uh, oh, you know what? It's a custom field. That's why. Sorry. We're going to add a custom field here. Click add, and then we're going to click on checkbox. All right. So you just give it a name, put it in a group, whatever, uh, the option name, et cetera. All right. And then you just uh, basically, you when you add the custom field, all right, you just drag it onto the form here. So if I go to 
I just named it consent checkbox. I can drag this on to my form, which I already did here. And then in the label, that's where you would copy and paste what I'll have in the description here. This will automatically, so I'm using custom values in this where it's gonna automatically insert the business name. It's gonna automatically insert the, the Twilio number, the toll-free number that you purchased, okay? So again, I'll, I'll have all of that in the description. You could copy and paste that into the label if you want. Click save and the form is updated, all right? Now, uh, once, you, once you have that done, um, we need to take a screenshot. <laughs> we need to take a screenshot of the form, okay? So you need to make sure you get the whole form with your URL here, okay? So take that screenshot of, of this, okay? Once you have the screenshot done, you're gonna head back over to high level. Uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's go back here. We're gonna go to settings and then media, okay? You're gonna open your media library, okay? Upload file, you're just gonna upload that screenshot that you just took, you're gonna select it, grab the, uh, just copy the link to clipboard right here. And I guess realistically, like, like if you don't have this and whatever platform you're using, you could do probably like, like if you upload it to Google photos or something, and then just get the share link, you could do that too. Uh, I don't see why that would be an issue. Of course they make an issue out of everything, but so, uh, so don't quote me on that, but you just need a, a, a URL to that image and you're going to paste that image in that URL. Okay. And that's it. Uh, uh, agreed it, uh, the, to the terms of service, send information for verification. All right. You should get approved as long as, again, your business location details are all what you have filed with the state for your entity, then you should be good to go at that point as far as getting approved. Okay. Now let's switch over to staying approved. All right. Because I'm finding that that is far more important right now than than getting approved. Th th this part's pretty easy now. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys to do, and I've, I've done training on this as well, is uh, you have to make sure that before you bring in, like if you're importing lists and you're going to do like database reactivation, you know, you're sending out emails and text messages to your past list, you have to make sure you verify the data, guys, first before you bring it in to high level or whatever CRM you're using, okay? There's two resources that I use for this that are really cheap. And actually you could do this inside a high level. I'm going to show you uh, something that will make it a, uh, maybe a little bit easier, uh, maybe, maybe not necessarily easier, but it's just gonna, it's going to be an extra layer of protection for you inside a high level. But two resources that I use for this, and I will have, again, if you find this video helpful and you want to support my channel, I would really appreciate it. I have affiliate links for these things in the description, but I like clear out phone. Uh, for some reason it's going right to the affiliate page. I'm not sure why. Um, I really, really like clear out phone here. Uh, so clear out phone io and one it's going to uh, validate and like verify the phone numbers but it will also separate the landlines from the mobile numbers as well which is obviously huge it's very very important you have to do that now guys it's no longer acceptable to just bring your entire list in don't care if it's like a ton of landlines it'll just you know it'll bounce or whatever you can't do that anymore you will get your account disabled uh, not to mention you're paying for that as well. You're paying for a text message not to go through. So this will actually separate the landlines from the mobile numbers. And then you can bring in, you can separate those lists. You can still bring both of them in, but at least now you know what part of your list has mobile numbers and that's who you can send your text messages to. Okay. So clear out phone, really, really important. Um, we're not really talking about email here, but um, I, I know people still have issues with uh, like high bounce rates and stuff with email. Again, I just don't want you guys to get your accounts disabled. Um, email list verify is what I use for validating emails. Okay, again, I'll have an affiliate link for this down at the bottom. You might get a discount on it uh, going through my link as well, but this will verify all of your emails. Okay, so just make sure you're bringing in good data into your platform, guys, whatever CRM you're using. That's step number one. You have to do that. Now, Let's add an additional layer of protection though, inside of high level. So I'm gonna go to uh, my, my SaaS product account here since I don't have, I shouldn't have information that I need, like private information I need to blur out, but whatever, not a, not a huge deal. Okay, so uh, you're gonna go to your business profile and then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom here. And actually, you know what? I might not 
Uh, let's see, verify. Yes. Okay. No, it's here. So, so you want to have these things turned on. So number one, mark emails as invalid due to a hard bounce. That way, if an email does a hard bounce, it won't, the system won't continue to try to send it emails. Also right here, validate phone numbers when a first SMS is sent to a new contact. Because here's the thing, guys, is, you know, we, with lists, like we can verify stuff, but at the end of the day, people w can still give us wrong information. And there's, there's, there's some things we can do about that, but at the end of the day, people are just going to provide bad information. Sometimes they're going to provide landline phone numbers when they fill out our forms. It just is what it is. So, but uh, we want to make sure that we're not continuing to send that inf uh, uh, that phone number text messages if it's not uh, if it's not a valid phone number. So, even though like I just showed you how to validate your phone numbers, um, you could turn this on as an extra measure of safety for your account validate phone numbers when a first sms is sent to a new contact this this is huge guys uh it i, I don't know if all uh, like every crm does this this is an awesome feature for when it comes to a2p and sending text messages specifically for a high level it's one of the reasons i love high level um you can also do the same thing with verifying email addresses okay uh now you do need to have uh what is it i think it's uh let's go to uh, I'm going to switch to my agency view here. Um, I think there's some specific things that you need turned on in order to be able to check those boxes. Let me just double check here. So we'll scroll down. Uh, let's see. It should be under rebilling. So you'll need uh, maybe under SAS. It might be because I don't have SAS mode on. But you'll need like um, phone verification. Uh, ver wow. Phone verification turned on. Email verification turned on. Uh, within the the sub account level so just make sure those things are turned on um but at the at, again just you want to make sure that you have those things checked uh as another level of safety now here's the other thing that i very very strongly recommend that you do if you're going to do something like a database reactivation campaign at some point or you're sending a large amount of texts or emails do it in drip mode okay let me show you what that what that means if I go to contacts here, uh, I don't have any records, of course. Let me just add myself here really quick. All right, we'll do test at test.com. All right, do all the phone number stuff later, whatever. All right, now, so I've got a, you know, let's say you got a list of contacts, you're gonna add them to a reactivation campaign, okay, or some kind of campaign. When you select all your records and you add them to your automation, and you want to do this regardless of what CRM you're using, guys. Add it in drip mode. Okay. Don't blast thousands, don't even blast hundreds of text messages and emails at once. Do it over, like spread it out over time. Because when you blast it out, uh, those, those campaigns, especially if you don't have a, uh, like if the number is new and it doesn't have a good reputation yet, they see that as potential spam. So make sure you are doing this in drip mode. Okay, and uh, high level makes this very easy. So you're just going to search for your workflow. So let's just do, uh, uh, let's find my reactivation campaign here. We'll just do this one. All right, enter an action, whatever that is. All right, start date, blah, blah, blah. The batch quantity is how many contacts are going to be added to your campaign after however many days or hours. So again, it's the, the, your batch quantity and how you set this up is going to depend on how many contacts you're you're utilizing here or adding to the workflow but you could do something like 100 per hour um that might be too much in the beginning I, I wouldn't recommend that i i usually again i'm just based on my experience guys i'm much more conservative with this now at least in the beginning in the first like month or so like just warming up the phone or building up that reputation then we can slowly start to scale up but we'll do like 25 every two hours and we'll do it through a specific part, throughout a specific part of the date. All right. So, you know, keeping in mind time zone, let's do like 1030 to, you know, maybe 430. All right. And then you would add to the automation. All right. So all of these things, guys, I, um, I'm pretty sure that's, that's just about it. Um, yeah, we went through the web page, what you need to put there, some things you can do in high level, you know, verifying information, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's that's about it. So uh, I'll, make, I'll make another video if anything else comes up and keep you guys posted. Hopefully nothing else comes up. But anyways, 
that's ATP guys. Uh, you know, getting, getting approved isn't as much of a, a pain as it used to be with, you know, now that we can, we have a, a very simple process for the toll free numbers, but keeping it approved, keeping your account safe, I think is the key now. Like you, you really want to make, you got to be careful with the, the amounts of text you're sending out, especially in the beginning, making sure you're sending out to good data, uh, stuff like that. So anyways, I hope this was helpful, guys. Please leave some comments down below, uh, any feedback, anything you're specific you're struggling with. Maybe I can make a video on that, uh, stuff that's working. And I'll, I'll continue to make videos just sharing with you guys uh, what's working for us. But uh, any questions, anything I left out, anything I missed, anything you're confused on, just let me know. All right. So I hope you guys are crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Ice is out.